Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will see how we can create awesome animation using Tailwind and we will do different kind of animation like typewriters and this slide and all and we will do all this from scratch like you can see here, we will create a new project and we will use this uh, library which will help us uh, to build different kind of animation. So stay tuned and watch this video entirely and also like and share this video. So recently this uh, Rombo a uh, Tailwind animation library is uh, released and it comes with lots of animation like you can see here this motion this uh, seesaw and uh, this hover and like there are lots of animation actually if you will see uh, here in the preset if I click on this model uh, here you can see this one and then we have this uh, roll animation and we can also create our custom animation like here I have created these uh, different animations following this documentation and there are lots of combinations also that we can use like if you'll go to the github we can have enter animation then loop animation and then we can combine all of this to create a different kind of unique animation like so we'll get everything from scratch and uh, let's get started now i have created this nexus project with a uh, tailwind configuration so first thing we need to do is add this tailwind css motion into the dependency I have already uh, installed it. You can see it into the package.json. And after that, we also need to put it as a required plugin so that Tailwind will uh, recognize it and we'll be able to use all the motion CSS. And right now, we have just one page into this uh, Nexus application and it's running locally. You can see it here that we have this uh, text. So we'll add these components and uh, we'll play with the animations. I have already created some of the components like info card, logo, typewriter and tab and they are just static components and we'll animate them one by one now let's create the prop for this uh, tab component So info card will the first component in this tab and we'll pass our data as prop. So yeah, now if we uh, look into the UI, you can see we have this uh, tab and this is just a static uh, component. There is no animation in all, but uh, we can add the animation. So let's go to the uh, Rombo GitHub and we will use the first preset. Like uh, let's use this slide preset. And uh, I will go and just add it here. So now you will see that uh, when this component will load, it will come from uh, right. So you can see that uh, it's having this slide animation. And we can also use uh, some custom things like we can have some glare and we can have some fade also. So if I add it here. So now if we uh, load, you can see uh, it is coming with a delay and fade. So this is very easy to use uh, this motion animation. Now let's add this uh, model animation that we saw earlier, this part. So if we play it back, you can see this is how it's coming and let's copy this class and we'll just put it down here. So yeah, now if you go to the UI, you can see uh, this is how it's coming. So this is looking uh, really nice. Now let's add one more component that is the logo component into our uh, tab. So I'll go here and let's add So I've created this tab component like we can pass an array with uh, object like id and the component that we want to display so 
I will share the code for this as well so you can take a look uh, later if you want to. So our component will be logo. And let's import it as well. Okay, now if we go here, so we have this logo also, so it's very static right now. But info card, like you see, whenever we will go back and this animation will come. So now for the logo, what we'll do, let's go to this one and we had this role animation. So let's copy this class. We can also modify this thing, but for now, let's copy this class and we'll see how simple it is to use this. So if you go to uh, this uh, logo component, on this uh, image class, I will just paste this CSS and uh, if we go back here and if I go to the logo, now you can see how simple it is to add this animation and it's looking uh, quite awesome. So this is uh, really easy to do uh, the animation and what we can do is uh, we can create our own custom animation too. So now you can see here, right? So if I drag it here, and if you play, this is how it is coming. We can also add some rotation, like suppose I put minus 30 degree rotation. And if I play now, so it will rotate and then go. So if we scale it as well, now let's scale it from 50% to 100%. So you can see, uh, if we play back now, it is coming from 50% to 100. Now let's copy this and we'll put this into the info card. Let's go back and yeah, so this is our custom CSS that we just created. And if we go to our application, uh, now you can see that how this animation is coming the way we have actually designed. So we can do these kind of things here also. Like we have all the presets like a scale translate, opacity, rotate, blur, and we can modify as we want. And then we can copy these things and we can directly paste it into our application and this is uh, very simple so now let's add our another component that is typewriter let's import typewriter as well So we also need to pass our text prompt here. So now if we go uh, back, so we'll have a text typewriter as well. If we go to the typewriter, okay, oh, it's capital uh, W. Type for mistake, yeah. So yeah, this will be uh, resolved now. Okay, so we need to put it here as well. And yeah, now it's uh, resolved. So if we go back, uh, you can see that we have typewriter, which is totally a static right now. And these two are animating. Uh, so if you go to the Rombo library, the first one was this uh, motion for this typewriter. So if I'll copy this and simply add it here. So this is the number of character that you want to uh, animate. So if you save it now and if you go back. So you can see that this is uh, animating and it will keep on animating for like infinite time. So we have something called yeah, motion loop once. And this will control this part. So if you'll put it here. Now it will just uh, animate only once. So if we load now. Okay, we have this animation, then we go back here, we have this, then we go to a typewriter, it will only animate once. So now you can see that uh, how simple it has been uh, with the motion library, we can create different kind of animation. These are just the basic examples. Now if you go to this GitHub and you can follow this uh, documentation that we have lots of things actually. If you want to build some awesome animations for you are using Tailwind or if you are already working on something like that, 
you can check this out and this is a very helpful library there isn't much talk but you can follow the github and our documentation around it and this custom uh, animation approach like where we can just drag and drop uh, these keyframes and create our animation is pretty awesome and uh, I will obviously use it into the feature application so if you enjoyed this video uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe this and uh, soon we'll meet in a, a new video